Okay guys, what you're looking at here is the SEMA or SEMU bird feeder camera. And I'm gonna try to show y'all how to set it up. Now there's a rubber plug right here that you're gonna remove from the top of this camera and just slide it out of the way. See if I can wedge it up in there to keep it back. Because this camera is sealed. Now you can take this camera out, but what I did is I hooked the solar panel up to it, put it out in the sun for a little bit, and let this camera battery charge up some. Free solar, why not? I've got the user manual here. And when I remove this plug, you have a reset button, a power button, and a memory card slot. And I'll put a picture in right here so you can see that up closer. Now I'm opening the manual to where it tells how to set this up. To turn on the camera, you're going to long press the power button for three seconds to turn it on. Then the indicator light in the front of the camera will flash blue. To turn it off, you long press it for three seconds and the indicator light on the front will turn off. Now let's talk about battery charging real quick. The status indicator is red when charging and will change to green when it's fully charged. It takes approximately 14 hours to fully charge the camera. On the back of the bird feeder, connect the power cord for charging. You connect it to a solar panel. I guess you could plug it into a outlet with the, the right plug. Or you can rotate and unscrew the screws. There's one here. That may be the only one I see. No, there's two. There's one on the bottom. There's one on top. Uh, let's see. Align the camera on the front of the bird feeder upwards. So don't have it pointed down. And then remove the camera from the back of the bird feeder. After charging, you can reinstall the camera to the bird feeder, ensuring the adjustment of the camera angle is for the best bird watching experience. Now, we're going to move on to setting up the app. I'm thinking I've got enough charge on this camera now that we should be able to do this. Now, in the manual, It has instructions on how to set up and register. And you can see there's a scan code here. Option one, which I think would probably be the easiest option, is go into your camera. And I had to choose scan QR code. And you can see it scanned it. And now I'm going to the link. And it didn't find it. Try this again. Open link. Not found. So since that didn't work, let's go to the Play Store. Let's type in our U box. And you can see it right here. We will install it. So for me, this bar did not open it up. So just go to your Play Store, find U-Box, and install it. Agree to the agreement. Allow it for notifications. And you can log in or register now. I don't have an account with this one, so I'll register now. So 
So you'll enter your email you want to use. You'll click that you read and agree to the user agreements, and then you'll hit register. You'll get to choose a password. This is the screen you'll get. So I'll choose a password. I'll confirm it. I got a congratulations, registration's completed. They sent the validation email. We're waiting on the validation email. Click this link to validate. It says validated successfully. So we're going to log in. Allow notifications. So we've done this, we've registered. Now we need to pair. Here's where you have to make sure that you have a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi before pairing the camera. So I had to go into my router settings and set up my 2.4 connection. All routers are different. So you'll have to follow your instructions on how to go into your router settings and set up the connection. Mine was pretty easy. I am connected to it right now. So I should be okay to go ahead with pairing. So, make sure your phone is connected to 2.4 gigahertz, which I am, and make sure your router password before starting the process. Make sure you know your router password before starting the process. I think I do. So, power on the camera and turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. So... Bluetooth's on on my phone. Now we're going to find the power button in here and hold it for three seconds. See, that is the power button. Well, it's a small button. I don't think I got it. It is very small. There. The camera is now ready to begin pairing. You heard it. It's ready to pair. So I had to allow a couple things. Click the add device. Set up Wi-Fi device. Set up Wi-Fi device. Camera's on, yes. New device found. Do you want to figure it? And it's uh, calling it a... The camera is now ready to begin pairing. Okay. You can name it. We're going to call this one the name of the bird feeder. S E H M U A, or you can leave it with what they have. The camera is now ready to begin pairing. And we're going to go next. Here's where it'll ask you to put your Wi Fi password in. You're on, I'm on that screen now. Configuring. Pairing information received. If it's not, I'm going to have to go look what the password is. Congratulations. Hit OK. You see the name of the camera up here. It's online. 
you can hit that for settings you get a free trial of the cloud and you can activate AI bird plans you have seven days free trial or you have a 30-day cycle of the AI bird fans plus and cloud we're gonna hit the 30 days okay Now let's see what I'm getting here. Activity detected. As you can see, the camera is already filming me. It's detected activity, it's detected motion, and it's filming. Okay. So it sends a, a notification to your phone when it detects activity. You can turn that on and off. You can choose between SD and HD. I just went to HD. It tells you your state of battery charge, your Wi-Fi connection, your that it saw something. You can go full screen. If you want to pay for it, it's $3.99 for 30 days, which I'm not going to do that because they're giving me free uh, time with this once I get with them. So that's pretty cool of them. But yeah, uh, let's see here what all we have. Okay, you can come down here that'll go to your profile you can share it with your friends it keeps detecting me moving Common settings. Mute when lit viewing live. Mute when playback. Default resolution is standard des definition. You can go to HD. Show battery percentage. Display framing. You can get a alarm vibration when you get a notification. A ringtone. A talk voice change. And here's where you would clear your cache. Activity detected and my uh, fire scanner scan U box and says it's safe. Notification settings. Auto run. That's installed. Permissions, that's okay. Battery, allow. Notifications, okay. Okay, camera for functions such as scanning QR codes. We're not going to do that yet. And the microphone, two-way intercom and other functions. Allowed. Okay, so basically, I mean, it's set up. I'm just probably confusing you with all these. These are settings you can go through your manual with and uh, that kind of stuff. But every time I move, it picks it up. So there's device. I don't want to add a location. I'm not 
not sure what that there is. Oh, that's to select your services. Quick way to turn off notifications if you don't want the device messaging you. Or you leave that on. Now, here is the nice na name is Simu. You click share. You would put in their email address, which I'm not going to do yet. I put my wife's in there and share it with her and set that up in a little bit. Uh, normally, when you put their email address, you can uh, scan a, a barcode and share it with them. But basically, this video, I just wanted to show you how to set it up. Get the app on your phone and get it Bluetooth to your uh, cell phone. Everything is ready to go right now. The only thing I need to do is mount this, which we'll do a video on, and fill it with birdseed. But it's really simple to hook up. Uh, I've been running two other cameras very similar to this uh, for quite a while now. I have had no issues with the battery staying charged. I'm going to go ahead and close this up so it's nice and waterproof. Because this, oh, we want to put an SD card in. Uh, I think it's up to 126 SD card. Uh, and if you want high definition, you record straight to that SD card, save it on that SD card. Uh, you can do live view, which we'll show you how to do later. And I said in this video, I just want to show you how to get it connected. And uh, there's some cool stuff you can do with this camera. Uh, and not only something I found on these cameras is not only is it going to uh, watch birds, if you set it in a uh, good location, this can be a security camera. It'll see if cars pull up, if cars leave, um, if it's animals, person. I believe there's even a setting in there you can set it for if you have a, a box delivered or something like that. Uh, I may be wrong. I'll have to do a little more research through the book. But this is a very good security system you can uh, live view it when you're away from home uh, to see what's going on wherever you have it mounted like i can uh, pull the app up and go live and i can watch my whole backyard when i'm not here and like i said if uh on the two cameras i have out there if a vehicle pulls up i can uh, it'll notify me that a vehicle's pulled up so there's just a lot you can do with this other than just watching birds. So uh, we'll get more into the setup of how I'm gonna mount this one. And I'll show you how I've got some of the others mounted and uh, we'll make some videos of those. But uh, yeah, uh, also the Amazon app or the Amazon link is live now. This is a new feeder. And uh, they have everything set up to where you can get online from the link and you can purchase yours and uh, enjoy watching your birds and keeping your area secure. So if you have any questions, put them down in the comment. If you have any problems setting one of these up, uh, be sure to just leave something in the comment. And if I can help you, I will. But that's all for this video. Our bird feeder is now set up to the app and linked to our Wi-Fi.